Good morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever it is your time zone across the world. It is Motivational Wisdom Time. Today, I'm going to educate you so you can grow and lead, a fundamental principle I use in my management consultant services. We're going to start off with a scripture, as I always do, taken from James chapter 3, verse 16. For where envy and self-seeking exist, confusion and every evil thing are there. Today, we're going to examine the word confusion and how it relates to the practical and biblical principles for spiritual growth. In essence, confusion is the state of disorder. Confusion is further defined as the state of being missed or blended so as to produce indistinctness or error. Confusion of thought, loss of self-possession, perturbation, shame, overthrow, defeat, ruin, one who confuses, a mental state characterized by a lack of clear and orderly thought and behavior. A feeling of embarrassment that leaves you confused, aloofness, contradiction, anarchy, devastation, disorganization, inconsistency, separateness, turbulence, setback, reverse, revolution, and the concurrence of two qualities and the same subject which mutually destroy each other and the legality. In the business world, it is called just that, confusion. A leadership characteristic to avoid and the climate of the organization. To deal truthfully with all people in leadership to act moral and lawful in all actions. It is a leadership quality that defines the ability to build sustainable, healthy relationships without impartiality to make an impact globally. The confusion has a direct connection between disagreement and the inability to come to resolution because of difference of opinion. The confusion has both a positive and negative approach, known by the platforms, outcomes within the surrounding atmospheres, and effect on people. What does this statement mean? If the confusion is reversed for the intent meant to bring harm by the human subject that wishes to bring harmony, the conductors of the confusion is mystified, therefore diffusing the act of evil works. In the context of the scripture, James, a disciple whom considered himself a bondservant of both God and the Lord Jesus, he gives this important godly wisdom after being under the teachings of Jesus left on record for all people and leadership the importance to discern the spirit of confusion and practice of confusion, whereby the two used to ultimately destroy anything in its path. For instance, personally, I call this heed the turbulence warning. It is the ability to hear the warning, see the warning, and take the necessary precautions to avoid harm in the process of confusion. Think of it this way. If you have ever traveled by airplane, before a storm, the pilot gives a warning. Fasten your seat belts because turbulence is ahead. The severity of the turbulence is never described in full. However, not all people will heed the warning because of the inability to hear and see the truth in the warning. Thought to ponder. Confusion is the gateway to evil works. 
but envy is the access to deception of the truth and integrity. It is an in-depth ability to know envy first starts in the heart without containment takes over the mind and body. Therefore, altering the truth to gain self-gratification without satisfaction. Now, it is this access that takes on the conductor of confusion, having a spiral effect of not only gratifying self, making alliances with others to destroy life, only to have a superior status. Therefore, confusion is the revealer of one's integrity. At this level, confusion has to be stamped out to preserve life to produce growth. What lessons can be learned about confusion? There are five important lessons. Discovering the truth and know what and is it confusion or conflict? Lessons learned about confusion. One, no confusion unveils the intent of the heart. It is the first step of self-awareness and self-examination to positively or negatively transform life. Confusion has a transparency magnitude. What do I see in myself and my circle of influences? Is it good or bad? Is it confusion or conflict? Can I step back to determine if deception has become a perpetrator within my circle of influences? Have I become a product of self-gratification and confusion? Self-examination and reflection. Two, Know a person's honor is unveiled through the state of confusion, revealing to either transform for the greater in society or unchangeable because of self-seeking agendas. Confusion is the revealer of partiality, the distinctness of hypocrisy, the rod of sensuality, and the darkness of deception. What honor do I have and people see in me? Is it good or bad? Is it confusion or conflict? Is there a gateway to resolution or a paradigm of endless discussion without resolve? Confusion versus conflict diagram and honor code. Three. No, you have a choice to live in a state of confusion or peace. It is this choice in life that builds the true character and leaders with the heart to live with purpose and in purpose. What mark of validity is inscribed in the heart? Is it confusion or conflict? Does the molding of my character produce positive life and circumstances of turmoil and turbulence? Or is there always disharmony from my presence? How will I humble myself to hear God's wisdom versus worldly wisdom in all sincerity to see the change needed to transform for the greater in life and be the change? Reflect. Past. Present. In future, confusion versus conflict diagram. Four, know the true value of a person is determined by the good conduct to dismantle confusion, visible not only in public, but within the circle of friends and family. What is my value worth? Is it confusion or or conflict? Do I have the ability to negotiate and mediate in fairness for successful resolution for all parties? Or is there 
altercation and controversy without agreement always present? Is it confusion or conflict? Is there a pattern or standard of manipulation within my circle of influences or within my heart? Is it confusion or conflict? Do I have the ability to walk away with dignity and integrity when resolve is not present, signifying the sparrow effect of confusion to deter purpose and life? Confusion versus conflict diagram. Five, truth is always revealed and the level of a person's ability or inability to deal with confusion. No confusion in rare form is always a conductor of destruction in life. The heart of a person unveils the gateway to confusion and access to levels of deception to camouflage the truth. Know the continuance of confusion, according to biblical principles, leads to every evil work. What can I discern in the atmosphere? Is it confusion or conflict? Can peace be heard? Can peace be seen? Can confusion be be conquered. Confusion versus conflict diagram. In closing, no confusion unfolds the depth of a person. No confusion unveils the intent of the heart. No, the levels and magnitude of confusion starts within the heart, but it is the mind and body that agrees to become the conductor of confusion. No, confusion has a transparency magnitude with a mirror effect. No, a person's character and honor is unveiled through the state of confusion. Know the true value of a person is determined by the ability to dismantle confusion. No confusion in rare form is always a conductor of destruction in life. No, you are not a product of the environment. You are not a product of life trials and you are not a product of people. Remember an environment of life is a progressive climate and culture of growth. Change your environment if needed. Change your view if needed. Speak life, grow, and lead. You have value. You have worth. You have purpose. Is it confusion or conflict? This is Lady Cynthia R. Kelly. Tune in off with motivational wisdom. Be blessed and stay connected to Jesus and tune in next week. Is it confusion or conflict?